So we have already seen the different output characteristics of solar cell. We have even seen the series as well as parallel connections characteristics and how it is going to be varying with respect to current as well as voltage. Right now let us see the temperature and irradiance effects on cell characteristic. So the ratings of solar cells are based on the minimum current they supply at 0.45 volts under a full sun at 25 degrees centigrade and this is nothing but 77 degree Fahrenheit. Okay. And its output is a function of its cell temperature. As temperature increases, the current will be increasing. Okay. And the opposite going to take place as the temperature decreases. It means as the temperature decreases, the current will be decreasing. So the cell operates more efficiently when they are cooler. Okay. The efficiency will be more when the cells are cool okay and at other temperatures the voltage and the current of the cell will be determined using some empirical relationships so if you see those relationships e naught is equal to er minus 0 0.0021 into t minus 25 whereas i naught is equal to ir plus 0 0.025 a into t minus 25 Okay, so here <clears throat> ER and IR are the cell ratings in volts as well as milliamps at 25 degrees centigrade because the ratings are always at the temperature of 25 degrees centigrade as I mentioned earlier and E0 and I0 are the cell voltage and current at the given temperature of T. And here A is cell area in centimeter square. Fine. So using this we can determine the output voltage as well as current of the cell at any given temperature. Okay. So this is the impact of temperature on voltage as well as current of the solar cells. Fine. Right now let us see how the characteristics will be looking like with the temperature variation. So these are the characteristics given here solar PV and IV characteristics with different temperatures. So at different temperatures the voltage of the cell decreases as the temperature increases proportionally. I mentioned that the current is going to be increased with respect to temperature. But if you see here, the voltage of the cell decreases as the temperature increases. So the voltage relation with respect to temperature is opposite. So that you can observe here. So here this is the variation of power versus voltage. So for different temperatures, the different colors are given here. As the temperature is increasing, that means from blue, from dark blue to the light blue, so since it is shifting towards the left side that means voltage is getting reduced okay so the temperature is increasing but the voltage is coming towards the smaller side uh, that means lower voltage value side okay so let us see the current as well as voltage variation with respect to the temperature changes so anyways the voltage is going to be re reduced but what about the current if you see here the increasing temperature gives rise to the increasing in current so here at t equals to 0 degree centigrade it is with pink color at t equals to 25 degree centigrade it is with blue color and at t equals to 50 degree centigrade it is red color so the red color characteristic is at higher side of the current whereas the pink color one is at the lower side of the current so it means as the temperature is increasing the current is increasing but the voltage is giving you the opposite relationship which is reducing in value right so overall overall effect on the power with respect to temperature is 
reduction in the power okay because the variation of the current is less with respect to the temperature when you compare with the variation in the voltage that you can see with this gap so due to this the total power will be reducing with respect to temperature that is in line with the voltage are you following it because the variation in current or the increasing in the current is less than the reduction in the voltage so since there is more reduction in the voltage when compared with current the product of the current and voltage is also following the voltage that means with increase in the temperature there is power reduction okay so there is also variation of pv iv characteristics with irradiance values and let us see how it is going to affect so if you see this left side plot uh, when the irradiance is gradually reducing from maroon to the green what is happening to the maximum power point power it is also gradually reducing okay this is taken at a constant temperature of 25 degree centigrade okay as the irradiance is reducing the maximum power of the solar cell is also going to be reduced but what about current so even the current with respect to voltage if you see the current values are also gradually reducing as the voltage is changing with respect to the radians so it is having a similar effect if the radians is reduced the current values are also going to be reduced it is in line with the power fine so with this the impact of or dependence of the pv iv characteristics on temperature as well as irradiance values is done fine thank you